Alrighty, so I wanted to share with you guys anyways, I'm getting ready to uh, upgrade from the uh, Renogy uh, Commander. This is the uh, 40 amp Commander. And the main reason I'm upgrading it is I kind of outgrew it. Um, I wanted to increase my panels above and beyond what the Commander could handle. And I also was not able to dial in the charge parameters for my batteries the way I wanted to. Um, the little tracer meter over here, um, it does allow you to change things a little bit. Um, I mean, you can enter it in on the meter, but it wouldn't actually let you um, save the specific settings that um, the battery manufacturer for my batteries recommended. Uh, one other thing with the uh, commander I wanted to mention, uh, one of the reasons, it, this isn't necessarily one of the reasons I'm upgrading it, um, but I did have an issue when I installed it. You can see that little wire sticking out there. Um, but one of the uh, uh, screws inside there, that one broke off. So half of the, uh, the flathead broke off on that one side. Uh, so we're going to be sending this back to Renogy, and I'll let you know how that works out. And eventually, we'll see this charge controller again installed at a friend of mine's house. Um, it's going to be a donated unit to him. And um, most of my solar stuff that I'm outgrowing is going to All right, so what we're in, going to go ahead and replace the uh, Renogy uh, 40 amp commander with is I went ahead and I picked up a uh, Midnight Classic. This is the 150. And in addition to that, I'm going to add another 400 watt array. That way we can keep up with the uh, cloudy weather here in the Pacific Northwest. Alrighty, so another really nice thing with the uh, new Midnight Classic is the addition to the, uh, of the Whizbang Junior. Um, I installed it over here and it fit inside here nicely. So I wanted to kind of share that with you guys. Um, so this is it right here and the wire running um, in there. This is the uh, shunt that they recommended you use. Unfortunately, I don't have my heat gun, so I'm going to be able to cover up those pretty soon here with um, heat shrink. And from there, I'll be able to get the cover back on and we'll be ready to go. Um, I really do like that Whizbang Junior. Um, it's incredibly accurate in measurements. Um, and that was something that with the uh, commander unit, I didn't have the ability to measure as accurately as I wanted to. Um, and with the meter, the only thing that the meter would read is anything that I ran out of the charge controller. So anything I pulled out of the batteries and through the inverter, um, you, net, you didn't have a read on how many amp hours you were consuming that way. Um, it would just give you a measurement of the amp hours consumed that came out of the charge controller. Um, so this is a really, really awesome upgrade. Um, really looking forward to continuing to monitor things and eventually install the Midnight um, Classic um, app that they have for the computer.